Good afternoon everyone. In today's video, I'm excited to give you a sneak peek, the very first preview into a new set of volatility models that we've been working on. Now these models are designed specifically for stock plus options traders, and they're going to be included for all stock volatility box members with your membership. My goal is by hopefully mid this week, you can come inside of the indicator page. I'll send out an email when we've launched this, but you can come inside of the indicator page Put in whichever symbols you'd like inside of the generator, click generate indicator, and in addition to both of the aggressive and conservative buttons for the daily models, you'll find an hourly set of buttons as well for both aggressive and conservative. Now, for those of you that focus on day trading options in particular, especially weeklies on some of the more liquid names like the Apples, like the AMDs, like the Teslas, the beloved name, like the Facebooks, etc. I think you'll find these models to be a complete powerhouse in terms of finding some really nice opportunities to be a buyer of shorter dated premium and try and ride some of that premium appreciation by pinpointing the right entries when you're looking to enter and having your risk predefined. Now don't take my word for it, let me show you an example. Here I have a chart of Apple loaded on. This is a one minute daily time frame chart here and I'm going back to 10 days. I have both the aggressive along with our conservative models loaded on, so that's the two different sets. Now you can ignore the labels up here, they won't work when the market's not open. And one other thing, you will need extended hours turned on for equities in order for the models to plot correctly. Now looking at Apple here, this is April 25th, and if we focus on just this one day, and we take a look at all of the different breaches that we had first. We had one breach, which was a short side breach. We had another breach right here, which was a long side breach. And this is the one that triggered real time along with this one. We had another short side breach, which triggered real time. And then we had one more short side breach, which triggered right here. Take a look what happens after each one of those circles. Price moves away from the volatility box really nicely. And you also have the luxury of having the confirmation of our oversold overbought indicator in a few of those places. Breach 1, we see that red uh, signal, the edge signal, moving away. Breach 2, we have the green signal moving away. Breach 3, we don't have any signal. This is a very quick move, no opportunity. Breach 4, we have a signal and a nice move away from the volatility models. So that's what we're really looking to try and take advantage of. And for those of you that day trade the options in particular, I'm sure you're already familiar with the idea of when those premiums get cheaper. But for example, the idea of second bounces here. So this is one, this would be the second bounce or the second test of that same level. The options are cheaper usually at this standpoint, especially if it's liquid and it moves fairly quickly compared to this first point right here, especially if price action is starting to show a lot of wicks. So this is another way that you can take advantage of more beneficial pricing, especially since in this case, once we see the edge signal, that's after the second bounce right here. So that's one thing to keep in mind. These second bounces, those options are a little cheaper than even that very first touch that we have of the sign entry line. So this was April 25th. Let's keep moving forward here. So this is now April 26th. If we try and see if we had any breaches on April 26th, no breaches inside of Apple on that day keep moving forward here, we have April 27th, some more volatility returns. One more time here, we can see price action in this case goes slightly outside of the aggressive clouds in that first first hour test. This is very similar to that futures process that we follow. So in this case, this would be for those of you that are conservative, you're signed to either wait for deeper entries inside of the clouds, a little bit modified compared to the futures rule set, or if you want it to be just following uh, the futures rule set, a bit more conservative, just stick to using, say, only the conservative models for that day, or maybe even between the aggressive and the conservative for your entry. So a lot of different ways that you can adapt to use this based on if you're using options or stock. I think your flexibility there changes a little bit. Now, in terms of this particular date, April 27th, the actual breaches that we have take place, breach one, we have another breach right here. We have another breach a little bit later in the day, one more time going outside of the aggressive clouds. So a similar pattern to what we had here. And in both cases, if you waited for the edge signal confirmation, you have the ability to enter when price is moving away from the models. Edge signal confirmation, 
edge signal confirmation, three edge signal confirmations right here, another bearish edge signal confirmation right here. So hopefully this is giving you an idea of how these models give you a place where you're looking to get interested in some sort of a reversal position where premiums are cheaper and you're using the edge signal, the overbought oversold indication to try and actually time some of those moves. Keep coming forward here, another breach into the close. This is the 11 to 12 hour. Once we have that breach, the edge signal comes a little bit later. So not enough time for follow through, but even then you can see price just chops around sideways. Keep moving forward here. This is now April 28th, another breach April 28th, long side and short side, and one more time, each time you get those green or the red arrows, that's when we're actually looking for a move away from the volatility models in both directions. So hopefully this is giving you an idea of how these models can be a complete game changer for those of you that focus on these liquid names compared to sticking to say just the traditional daily models that we're used to having with stocks. Now let me keep coming forward here. I'll cycle through this a little bit quicker here just so you can see what they look like. So another breach right there. My goal here is to just give you an idea of how everything looks. So this is now earnings. So I think this next date will be interesting. Post earnings. Post earnings we have a good deal of volatility. We hit the conservative volatility boxes cyan lines in the morning. If I remove the aggressive one here you can see how it looks with just the conservative models for earnings. So we have the first test bounce away from there. The second retest, which goes even outside of the clouds, the edge signal confirmation, nice reversal from that point. Now we hit our long side clouds right here, edge signal confirmations, a deeper move. And this time we end up going even outside. So earnings volatility here, this is an example of what I would consider a stop out, a trade, which you just did not get the bounce after really this close of the candle here below even these levels that would be the sign to cut loose some of those options for those of you that would be in options premiums just a sign to cut that loose take this sort of small loss if you will and move on to the next opportunity so that's an idea of what a picture not perfect trade looks like keep moving forward oh i have just the aggressive on let me bring back in the uh, or just the conservative let me bring back in the aggressive as well I can move that up all right and one more time you can see how the aggressive and the conservative I think together give you a really nice wheel set in terms of trying to capture those reversals one more time the aggressive the long entry edge signal bounce short side second uh, bounce right here the same idea along with the edge signal confirming that a deeper correction inside of Apple so I think that's enough examples, but hopefully should give you an idea of what you can look forward to for all stock members later on this week. I've shown you just this example on Apple, but this should work on all major stocks, ETFs, and if we don't support it, just send us an email at contact at TOS Indicators, and I can go ahead and add it to our list in terms of future symbols that we support. Hope this video is helpful, and one more quick note, this will also work on SPY for those of you that are uh, stock volatility box members who want something similar to the futures models, now you can generate that with SPY as well, SPY, QQQ, IWM, DIA. Alright, hope this video is helpful, stay tuned stock volatility box members, I'll send out a note when this is ready. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and I hope you have a great week ahead.